I live in California, more specifically the Sonoma County area. Last year I found out there'd be filming and auditions taking place around here for an upcoming Netflix series called 13 Reasons Why based off Jay Asher's novel of the same name. Naturally, I was intrigued because I love Netflix series and had never heard of this book, so I decided to grab myself a copy. They ended up filming a lot of scenes at a nearby high school, and a friend of mine even got to be an extra in several parts. So what's the story all about now? I went into it completely free of any expectations, and what I found was a very personal and fresh narrative. The title references 13 reasons why the main character, Hannah Baker, ended up committing suicide, and in this case, due to 13 people. She leaves behind a box of cassette tape, Tapes. Yes, cassette tapes. We all remember those, right? Well, hopefully you do. Each tape is a recording from her describing different events and people whom she blames were reasons behind why she decided to end her life. And there you go. Everything begins for us when Clay Jensen, one of her classmates, first receives a copy of these tapes in the mail, and we start to unravel how it all went down. One of my favorite things about this book is how it's told, which is a combination of Hannah's voice and Clay's reactions. It makes the novel flow well with distinctive suspense and mystery laid in throughout as we learn more and more about how Hannah's life was ruined. It's a very quick read, and despite being targeted for young adults, it's beneficial for all readers due to the subject matter and message. Asher doesn't hold back on the importance and unfortunate occurrences of someone who took their own life. What stands out more so is he chooses to show how when people pass away, this can end up ruining the lives of those they leave behind. And Clay is clearly the most affected. Much of the book is finding out how he was involved and eventually reserved as one of the 13 people to make Hannah's list. This forces readers to question every little motive or slight notion he takes, as it doesn't become clear until later if he truly deserves this position. Since many of the characters are introduced with every new tape, I won't go into them to avoid revealing how they impact the events. But one key thing to understand is the concept of a slippery slope, where one seemingly small interaction or judgment can create a big ripple effect. We often don't realize how much our words and actions can affect the people around us, especially throughout those high school years. I enjoyed how the book explored this issue by the way we follow Clay to each of the locations Hannah designated on her map, letting us picture it. My favorite moments were probably him getting lost in the past, attempting to relive the situations she went through just by being in the same proximity. Whether the author was trying to achieve this or not, I couldn't help but get this sort of ghost like feeling, just forever haunting. Despite it revolving around teenage years, don't mistake it as something that wouldn't be relevant or interesting if you've gotten past this life stage. It has something to offer for any of us who have been affected by suicidal thoughts or bullying, as its stance on both is worth it alone. The sooner people learn about the consequences and repercussions of this never-ending problem, the faster we move toward positive changes. Hopefully this becomes a requirement to read in many schools, and if Netflix delivers, it'll get even more notice. 13 Reasons Why Never Holds Back on Its Painfully Necessary Lesson. And that's why this book is a diligent pick. So, did you guys get a chance to check out this book? Are you excited to see how Netflix handles it all? My name is Dylan, and if you love entertainment, subscribe to my channel while this video ends, and send me a thumbs up before you go. Thanks for watching, and stay diligent.